Okay. Now, a couple different ways we can play with this angle three. Um, where's my loader? If I'm a spot at Daga, or I'm double stick. Oh, you don't get nothing. <laughs> and he sends, I can, I can stay out here and do it this way. Okay? This, this is one of the reasons why you'll see me pass this with the hand, just because I'm thinking about this in terms of a spot at Daga. Okay? But if I don't have that option, a lot of times too, I'll push this hand down and cut. Okay? So I'm a lot closer, so he pushes it down and cuts. Okay? Push down and cut. Push down and cut. Okay? So that's hand to hand. Okay. This method, when you see me do this, I'm thinking more spotted dagger or double stick. And so there's just two different ranges I'm looking at, but the motion is still the same. Does that make sense? And so here, so here I'll do the spotted dagger version of it, or I'll do the longer range, I'll do the closer range. You guys understand? All right. And then of course the same idea when he sends the angle one, you know, this can this can easily be a spotted dagger. This doesn't just have to be the empty hand, right? But not everybody here has got a spotted dagger, double stick, or or experience with it right now. So just to, I think it's always good to start with a single stick because then all of a sudden this becomes a little bit easier, in my opinion. But all right, is there any questions on that? All right. So if if you get that and you're like, man, I'm just too good, then mix the mix the two together, right? So you might send the one. And the three. Okay, so the one, the three, and the three, and the one. Ooh, that's right. Make sense? All right? Start to play. Thanks, brother. Yeah. Oh. I don't need a rig, I just need Tom. That's right. <laughs>